Hey guys, I'm back today with another video and this one is going to be a beginner friendly unit from the company My First Wig and I'm just going to show you guys some of the items that came in the box. Now before I get on to the details of the unit, I'm going to be using their edge control to slick back my edges on the side and this edge control is very lightweight but it still gets the job done and I never notice any flaking with it. Now also to prep my hair, I'm going to be using a wig cap. Now if you want to skip the wig cap process, you can because I'm also going to be putting on my wig grip. This wig grip is going to help the unit from not sliding off of my head and it also helps me feel extra secure. So the unit that I will be showing you guys today is the Tara Yaki Bob headband wig. This one is in the length 12 inches. It is 130% in density. It's a cap size one and this unit does come with a comb in the middle, two combs on the side, a comb in the back area. Also comes with your adjustable velcro strap. It literally took me no time to get this unit on. So now I'm just going to grab my flat iron and then run some heat to it, just slightly bumping it under just a little bit, not going too harsh. Now, of course, if you are liking what you see and you aren't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button. Also, if you are subscribed to my channel, guys, please make sure to turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. As this is a yakky texture, it is not going to take a lot of work at all and you aren't going to have to add too much heat to it to get it where it needs to be. This headband wig is perfect for beginners. If you are in a hurry and you do not have a lot of time, this is definitely one to grab and add to your collection. So far, it is looking good. And you guys see, I didn't have to put too much work into it. I love how flat this is laying to my head. And I feel like the density on this is really good. I like that it is not super high in density because it looks natural for every day. Now this unit, once again, is 12 inches, but it starts at 10 inches and it goes up to 16 inches. I'm gonna make sure to turn around so you guys can see what it looks like from the back. It is looking good. in a hurry and you don't have time to be throwing on an extra headband you can definitely walk out the house as is but i am going to jazz it up just a little bit and add some extra headbands just so you guys can see what they are looking like now this one is a little bit wider on the side so i had to kind of fix it up exactly where i needed it to be and i wanted to make sure to kind of conceal the headband that is underneath it one is really cute and I love that with the headband units you can switch up your headbands if you want to be casual if you want to be a little bit more dressier you can always switch out and rotate those headbands to give your unit a different look I ended up pulling the band up a little bit further on my edges because with this lipper headband, it does not need to show as much. The sides don't need to show as much because I was going to be bringing it forward a little bit. And then towards the back part, I did not want that black part to show. So I just kind of flipped it under to hide it and it hit it very, very well. So like I said, you can definitely switch up your looks without putting up too much of a fuss. And this one is just as cute, super beginner friendly, easy to throw on and go. But guys, make sure you stay tuned after this to hear my final thoughts on this headband wig. So I am done styling this bob headband wig and guys, this is definitely going in my top of headband wigs because of just how easy and carefree this is. Oh my gosh. Now I've been wanting to try a shorter yakky texture headband wig since I've seen the hearts and cake and also trendy K with one. And I'm so happy that I have one in my collection now because this is going to definitely be one that I'm going to throw on, especially in those hotter months because I really like to go glueless or I just really don't like to bother with lace too much. I already sweat and I get hot, but then it's really hot in Texas during the summertime. So this is just perfect because y'all already know I love the yakky texture. And then on top of that, I don't have to worry about lace. Oh yeah, you cannot go wrong. I incorporate leaving a little bit of my edges out in the front 
and it was kind of hard for me to do because I am rocking braids and usually if I'm wearing wigs I like for my hair to be braided flat because my hair is very thick so me just putting it into a low ponytail and throwing a headband wig on top is just not going to work for me because it's going to look very bulk. With this headband I did pull this one up a little bit further so you do not need your full edges out to rock this type of style and I love the texture. It looks really nice. The cut on this is nice. It looks very realistic. I like how it's not super heavy of a density. Now, of course, if you wanted to like go all out and make it look more realistic, you can bring out your hair and kind of do like a half up, half down style. To me, I don't like to do that because it's like I'm trying to protect my hair. So I don't want to have to pull out my own hair in the front, gel it all up and everything. So I just like to rock it as is. There was minimal shedding with this unit. I do not expect a lot of tangling, but I have already told you guys when their yakky texture starts to get a little bit old, then the ends start to get dry. So you definitely want to make sure you put a little bit of serum on it when it starts to get older and also make sure you condition those ends. You also see me put a wig grip underneath this. For some reason, no matter what, my headband wigs are just always big. I've had companies send me small, extra small. They just kind of run big on my head. So the wig grip is definitely some extra security so I don't have to worry about it sliding back because I did wear a headband wig the other day and I forgot my wig grip. And by the time I got home, like it was trying to come off. So yeah. I prefer to just rock the wig grip underneath so I don't have to worry about it. It's just super natural looking. I don't have any cons when it comes to this. It's definitely all pros for me. I mean, you get the style, you get the look, you get the density, you get the texture, and it's glueless. So that says enough right there. Feeling this headband wig, I'm gonna make sure to leave all the links down below in the description area. Also, if you already have this cutie, let me know down below in the comment section. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.